Hey guys, Paintbrush here, and this is Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals. This is where it comes down to this. These two are the tough ones to be here all night, but this moment, a lot of battling take, and we have to find out who will take the next win to go with the ultimate run to succeed it through. Now this is not what it really seems what they were getting it through. Because of Sebastian Ajo, any other teams are really having a difficult time to make that one maintain. They really have a hard one to try to like pick them up. But now, this is where it's going to be very that tough and challenging to get this thing done. But at the moment, we are about to find out who will win and get into the Stanley Cup Finals. This is a win or go home for Carolina Hurricanes and the Bruins win to get into the Finals. Well, there's one way to find out who will get into the next one and finish it up with the finale of season number two. Now the next commentary I will have is, I will have is Son of Beast along with me phone. And finally, for the center ice, we have across from here, on the back of the side, we have is OJ. I'll be back with the post game show here of the three star players and the total statistics of the game. Now, let's get started. Enjoy Game 5 of Bruins and Hurricanes. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and we are back at TD Garden for the matchup of the Bruins vs. the Hurricanes in Game 5. It's a win or go home for the Carolina Hurricanes. We are all set and ready to go. The puck is dropped and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed. We have this Slavin. Then from the right side, we have this Sebastian Ajo. From the left of the corner, we have this Brett Burns. Then we have this Fetchikov. And then Jarvis with the puck. Anderson is the starting goaltender of Frederick Anderson for the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, you know that Frederick Anderson really got it all down. Because of him, he was really turning out to be just like he does. And you know, they've really been showing it off because the last part of the uh, overtime was a death's disappointment run. And hopefully, on that occasionally, they will try to keep it going and get it done right. Here's Sebastian Ajo. He will have it over again to Svechikov. With the shot! It's stopped by Omar. Venus Omar is a starting goaltender. And along with the coverage here, we have his Bergeron. And it's Marchand right down toward the end. Dubrus with the puck here, uh, right in the in center of the ice. Then we have is, across from the news line changeup, Charlie McAvoy. Then from the other, on the other side, we do have it all to stop them and pay down what they are, are going for. Oh, the shot was off the pad and it goes right to the wall. Such a cough shot. It's been turned away. Here's Jarvis. With the puck handling, the Ajo! It's saved here! Behind the cage, we have is the Bruss. Now looks over to Bergeron. Bergeron over to Marchand. Error pass, and they are definitely going to get a turnover. Not a good call, because they are really are trying to like find an open offense. Sacha has the puck recovery, and now McAvoy will give it off over to Bergeron. Bergeron taking his way down to the left, to the slot! That's been stopped with the puck handling of Kalkanemi. Now here's Kalkanemi right over to, ne to Negus. The shoot for the Shinovire into the point blank. Rebound again and it's Omar with the save! Clear it up, here's one way that Zacha really has to help Omar get right into the rebound. Very good job with the run. Burns tied up in front of Birch from Zacha with a loose puck. Now he moves it quickly over to Academy. The Hurricanes are back in the 2 on one On the attack, it's lost up in Orlov, back to McAvoy. Now back to Orlov, swings over to Pasternak. For the left wing of the zone, passes to Krejci, shot, stopped by Anderson. And they're going to have to go for it. And they are doing it now. Well, you don't want to make that one mess up. Bruins are just getting a lot that hard. They have a lot of fighting experience to get it done. They're just trying to like mess someone up. Somebody's gonna have to get hurt.
and he wins it. Stenji wins the face, wins the fight, and it all does turn out. Bruins is down. Yeah, you don't want to make that one too complicated. If you do that, that's going to be a lot of heart and disrespecting to make a crucial out of it. It's not going to be happy at all. After the fight, we now send you back down to the offensive wing to start and resume the play. Stahl wins the faceoff. Goddess Spirit gives it off to Fats. Moves it over to Marina. Finding an open room to Fats. It's stopped by Omar. Keeping it outside of range is Frederick. Deep in over to, over to Mark Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right into the, in the neutral faceoff zone. That goes out of play, and we got a faceoff now coming up. Both centers glided into the offensive zone, into the neutral faceoff zone. Puck drops, and we resume the play. Godespear has it up. Coyle got a good battling and pounding with a stick lift. Pass gives off to Fats. Fats on his way down. Gets slammed down. Good feed. Carlo over now into the offense zone. Trying to leave it up to Lindholm. Lindholm gives off to Carlo and now finds Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi on his way down to the right wing. Fires it. Close save by Anderson. Stahl gives it off to Gottesfeer. Finds Fast. Spins around, finds Pass. Pass on his way down. Leno recovers the puck and now Bertuzzi will take one here. And we got a penalty call. That will be a slashing on Carolina. Well, the answer is going to get very that tough. Nobody can't really get over it. They really got to try to like, stop the puck and bounding and try to reach it across. We don't want that to be out of here. Jordan Stahl in the penalty box is definitely uncomfortable for him to try to show him off. The captain, I don't even think this will happen. And the Bruins are now on to its power play for the start of the first period with 13.03 to go. Still no score to gain. What the faceoff chuck? Well, I got a little blocked up here by Burns, but that's a great defense. Bergeron to McAvoy. Pasternak will have it in the wing, to over to Bergeron. Pasternak shot, blocked it away. Rebound it, save here by Anderson. Anderson will leave the puck out and will hold it with just only 12.39 to go. We all know Sebastian Alba has a third eye ability to keep right toward in here. The lot of offense keeps an eye on steady. Let's hope that this won't carry. David Pasternak has our only snipe ability to keep right toward the offense clean. When he has that fucking bounding, he wants to give it off and go for the long, long shot. Now these two teams are definitely not tough. Two players are the rival ones to keep. I'll be watching here for David Pasternak and a Sebastianago with an eye on the target. Back to you all. Bergeron lost the puck handling and now it's Martin to take it back to Marchand. Oh, a hit stop! And off the face mask and it now sends over to the netting. Still a lot of time left remaining in the fir first period of the game. Still no score this one. Bergeron wins one. And Greer onto its way. Little old shot. It's stopped by Anderson. He brushed. And it's, and it's deflected off again. Now Lindholm will take it here. Greer. Oh, and the penalty is. Yep, I got a good, that one a call. It's going to be another slash hit. So Terrell Biden is in the penalty box. There's three guys in there. Going to have to find more room if you want to go get one. Well, Terrell Biden's not very that happy at all. He didn't really want to risk it. That was not that happy, and he didn't get red at all. Brad Marchand has a make it snappy ability to try to like keep it right from here. Visago is a tough one that they can try to like keep him out. When you add it all with the target down, you can try to do it. Marchand, the little home shot, let's save by Anderson. Looks like one man is going to be out of the penalty box, and the other guy is going to be sitting behind. The man advantage is over for two on for a five on three. Now it will be staying input for the Bruins power play. Good stop by Anderson. 
got a little dive out of it with only 10.50 to go. Officials are getting sick here to have the face off puck drop. As right now, there's still no score in the game. Boston wins the face off and they will resume the play of the power play. Burns trying to like smack him down. Marchand has the puck recovery. Trying to make the shot slot. Marchand recovers it. Burns takes it over. Marchand trying to give it back. Ajo has won. Clears it out. Here's Coyle. Now the Boston Bruins are back into the offense zone. They're picking up the run. Finds Bergeron. Bergeron lost the puck. Jesper Fast flings it up in the air. Marchand will have the puck here now. Give off to Bergeron. He's right in the mound. His time is almost up. Rebound again! Anderson really got that one. Keeping it out of here. That was a great stop. Well, they're doing really well with the defense. They liked it when they were putting up here because the Canes really can't mess them up. That's why his head coach was telling him, you got to fight. This one needs to be out there clear. You can't give up. Anderson with the save. And you know this wasn't the only tough one in the game. This is very tough. The one-on-one, -on -one, the, the, the battle of the first seeds, they're impossible. They really are trying to get it over again. Halfway gets knocked down. Try to leave it out. Pass try to answer back. Pass gets off to Neckett. Neckett's right, right over to the wing. Bumps it over and got cut his shot. Omar got a great save of that one. He tried to keep it out. Nakai is over to Svechikov. Pass to Godisphere. Shot! Stop by Omar with the goaltender. Boston will have their group on the advantage run. Keep it in from the outside. Godisphere takes the puck away. Now he's off the pass and now fires the nose in. Those in lost the puck handling and now Carlo gives it over to Pasternak. Pasternak looking it over to the offense side. Trying to move around freely. The nose in shot. And a stop being made by the goaltender. Pasternak to no second now over again to Carlo. Stepan takes the puck away. dion has got the puck now able to hand it off to Nozick. Six minutes to go in the first period. Still no score in this game. Statsdys got bumped up. Lindholm gives the Berterzi and now to Pasternak. Deep the pass to Coyle. Coyle lost it. Stepan's got it now across the neutral offense zone. Boston regained the group. Boston right into the right wing. One and two attack. Got his fear, got it away. Marinuk now finds Stahl. Stahl try to keep it out clearly and he can. Try to move it across right now into the offense zone. Now finds Burns. Burns shot. Stomping again by Omar with a huge pad save. He's very into this one. He's lucky. Bergeron, that's gloved up by Anderson. Keeping the puck out of the blue line, and now they're in the blue line. Stall shot. One timer stopped the May by Lomar. Good play in possession as the block is on Orlov. Moves it quickly over again to DeBrus. DeBrus on his way down to the left wing. Keep it around him in an opener. Simon got it away with that one with the lockdown defense. We're under 3.30 to go. Offsides called on Carolina. And they're about to drop the puck in a neutral faceoff zone. The officials are getting set here, ready to take the faceoff. It's still no score in a game. Trying to lead or take over. Bergeron wins the faceoff and now off to Orlov. Boston finding a man opener. Slavin has the puck, now gives off to Spetchikov. Such a cop moving around toward the man. Tourist shot! Gloved it up by Omar. Keeping it right toward in the out in the other side, and now it's only under three minutes to go. Keeping an eye on the clock. We're under three minutes remaining in the first period. 
There are nine face-off wins, and now they have ten. Orlov will go down to McAvoy. Halfway right into the left right wing of the offense. Slavin got to try to keep it out of here. McAvoy to Nozick. Moving around into the slot. Oh, the bodies are in a way as there's nobody else to take the deflection in. And we got a penalty call that will be on Boston, and that's going to be a holding call. Well, not really exactly. You do not want to hold on to anyone. You do not want to make that one clear. That's going to be a hard one, and nobody's going to like that. A.J. Greer in the penalty box, and now Caroline's going to get the power play to get started. You see the frustration about how this happened? Because Greer was not really putting it up in the effort. He didn't really get out of here that much. He did not want to hesitate that much. He's off to a bigger problem. Now the penalty is already gained on Boston. Carolina's on their power play. That's deflected. Forward trying to battle back. Zatcha kicks it across. Now Forward will take it over to Coyle. Keeps the puck out. Offside. Got him whistled. Great play on defense. They need, really need to step it up. There is still a lot of timing left to remain in the first period before the time period expires for the first period. Ago wins the face up and Teravainen gets the nose in. Teravainen still out in looking danger. Oh, but the skate goes. Carlo recover it. Then we'll fire it up. Nearing the last minute of play in the first period, still no score. 110 left for Carolina power play. Teravainen over to Nose. They go back on the offense for the resuming of the power play. Shot gloves by Omar. They keep their eyes on that one here. Omar really got to show it up like you mean it. Both teams are about to be set here on a faceoff for the puck drop. 55 seconds for the power play for Carolina. Now with the win. Here's Clifton. Got a little banged up already, but now Bergeron. Moving around it, going for shorthanded, stopped again by Anderson. Neck is right toward the right wing, fires it across, good diving release, man. Now the puck clears out, 20 seconds for the Kings power play. Now Teravainen has one. Looks like he's almost ready to get out of the penalty box. When the second period starts, he'll be ready to go. That will end the first period. A close up matchup in between Allmark and Anderson. We'll get the second period, clean sheet of ice, and come back after this. Welcome back to the second part of the period as we, the Stanley Cup playoffs continues. And here we go. Now back to a full strength. It's going to be like this. Well, you could definitely tell that the Bruins did have enough strategy to give that one effort. They're doing it really well to keep the puck out of play. To resume the inbound, let's find out for you, Rasmi Phone, what the recap. Well, there are a lot of battling emotions out there. I have to tell you this. Carolina and the Bruins are a very tough team. Hurricanes want to put a mess here on Boston. Well, they don't want that. They really wanted to get it out of here and then try to like show them up. They never slow it down each other. We have no idea how this will happen. They keep it out of here for us a long time of the season that they are trying to keep it put it in. They really are trying to like show them up like they did. And they got no other words. They're gonna get that hard and try to keep it out of here. The range of insight it was very unclear. But don't keep it untouched. They're very that hard. They like show them off. Alco shot off the pad and went right toward the side of the wall. Marchand will try to leave it over open. Stop him with the lockdown defense on Slavin. Jarvis trying to look over with an open pass. Passing through the net and now Slavin. The Hurricanes give it up the pass run. The Bruins will have their position. With the rebound! That's denied by Burns. Oh, well, Burns really could have had that one out there. Could have stick lifted it, but it's decided that it was not going to happen like that. If he does it, then you're going to get a penalty on Burns. But thank goodness he's safe. Coyle rebounding the puck here now in the offense zone on the left wing. 
with Zatcha Kosunort got batted out of here by Anderson. Coil stick lifting, good play, and now Nikaz will have it here. Right to Teravainen. Orlov recovering the puck over to Boston territory. Nikaz right over now into Zatcha. McAvoy pass to Coil. Coil with the three on one attack. Move around again. That's denied by the goaltender. It keeps it out of here. Slavin right toward the left wing. Slavin now entering in with Teravainen. Puck goes out of here and it's Greer. Greer trying to like go for the answer back. Pass to Nozak shot. Gloved it up. Anderson with the save. He's going to hop here for the whistle now with only 15.25 to go in a second. Yeah, I have no complaints about this one. There might be one way they can get it done. Uh -huh. what's, it, what's it going to be like? I think there's going to be a very tough one that everybody's keeping an eye on. Maybe you're going to get it done. You think so? Well, hopefully. Anderson stopping it away for your only 15 or 8 to go in a second. Still have a lot of time left to get a goals and try to make the pass. Now the connection feed is now being untouched. They're back in to do it again. Now with the win, Greer past the Lindholm. And Nozet, open it up! Rebound it, stopped by Skeggy. Got a good tight defense, not an interference. Here's fast. Pass towards it again to Stahl, shot! Good rebound! Puck is out of here. Fast, right toward the corner, and now into the back. Soul shot! Save me by Omar! They're a tough team, and they're gonna have to wait, like, settle down with their sec, then get ready for another face-off. Both teams are set, ready to take the face-off puck drop. Still, no score in the game, as right now, 14 face-off wins for Boston. Now they have 15, as they win it again. For the draw, Clifton to DeBrus. He answers in his own. Oh, Sketchy just made that one a slap out. He almost would have made that one a hooking call, but not for long. He did just like that. That is a tough one. I don't even know if it was a hooking, but because if it is, that will be a penalty on that for, for the slash call. Now with the rebound, ready to take another face off in the opposition. Car Carolina and Boston are trying to find another way to go with the goals. Here is Bergeron. They brush right over into the left right wing of his own. Pass to Marchand. Fires across. Anderson got it right away with it. And he'll hold it with only 13.05. That's because he has I, how, uh, how tough he is. You really can't just say that he was getting over this one right a comfortable feeling. Because you may never know how they were going to keep it going and then stay out of here. Statsnys wins the faceoff and Dehan right now to Nozen. Statsnys and a penalty's been called. It's going to get a slash. Yep, I knew it would be happening because at that point he did give a slash off right over on the player Statsny, and he's in a penalty box. Jake DeBrus not happy with his behavior. He didn't really like that call. With the regulation to put up for Omar. He has an x-ray vision to try to like leave it over with an open offense. The x-ray that keeps him up here for the saving of the wild inbounding. When he's tough on that, he will try to keep it over with the game of the position. That will be him for the power play. Officials again set here for an earth face-off puck drop. There's still no score to game. The Carolina Hurricanes are trying to answer back. Now Aqua will give up the Goddess Spear and now Burns fires away! Down off the pad again by the goaltender. Aqua now the Goddess Spear. Good defense and Forbert will have it here. You know, this was very tough that everybody keeps an eye on. Nozing! Fires across! Rebound again! Two times stopped by Omar! Carla will send it away. Now Burns will have it here, now finds Ajo. Ajo trying to leave it open with an open mark. Ajo looking at eye. 
Carlo takes it away. Keeps it out. In the air zone. Carolina back on the attack, ready for another one to go from here. Forward's got it now, and Abo, whoa, he could be going for an extra one. Good stop by the goaltender. Carlo still flies it out. That's what his possession is. Carlo wants it to fly it out of here into their zone. Keep it out. Looks like uh, the Brussels time is almost up. Fires away! Save me, buddy! Goaltender, and it keeps it out of here. It's a great job of the defense here that, that the Bruins are very settling it down. They've really done the best, but they may never see that one going. Because they can't just really get over it, it's a lot of hard on the offense that they really want to try to speed it up. This was a tough one that everyone does. Omar gloves it up, and Omar will hold it here with just only 10 2 in a second. Neither teams getting a goal. Right now the face-off is on its way to put it back in again. Face-off win for Bergeron. Ago got a puck away. Ruler around the net. That's easy save here by Omar and now it's Orlov back with the airway. Pat it down back to McAvoy. Swing it over to Marchand. Marchand right toward the corner of the net. The most shot. Anderson with the save. He's keeping it alive out there to try to like pull it back with the win. They want the Hurricanes. They want some revenge out there. So that way, they've won game two, but they really wanted to win it back. Kyle Kennedy wins the face off and out. Nekis will have the puck here. Goes tumble down. Marchand right over to Bergeron after McAvoy pass. Hit it across right to the visitor's bench. Saucer pass over to Nekas. Nekas to Tavera Teravainen. The Bruins are on its way down to take the position right toward the slot. Bergeron got a little bit slammed over here. Pesh lost the puck. Now it's back over to Orlov. Orlov to McAvoy. Fires it! That's blocked up. Skedgy takes the puck here now in the entering offense to pick it up their defense. Terravine in right toward the middle here, right on Bergeron. But the pass to Kalkenemy! That rebound that's saved here is put by, by the goaltender. Pasternak recovers it and now right over again to Marchand. Marchand to Coyle, shot! Rebound again and it's not going to be in there that timing. Well, he's off on that one. The target is not really appearing so well. His head coach was trying to give out and explaining, you've got a lot of like a lot of shifts to do. This is what they need to do. They've got to get done. And if they don't have that much timing now, well, you've got to step it up. Because everyone's up there. They really got to do this one. A lot much harder than you can. Then on right again, pat it up away. Zatcha, back over to Bastionox. That shot went terribly wide. Fast to sketchy. The Canes are back into the offense zone in the Boston Territory. Poked it out. Recovering the puck is Martin Lift. To go in inbound. Carlo got it here. With 5 30 remaining in the second period, they still need to try and answer it eight from here. God is fear to fetch a call. Nobody had it over. Halfway past the Lindholm. And now Carlo. Pass off to Coyle with five minutes to go. Bobbed it away by Anderson. Oh man, Anderson's still getting a lot of use of it. I think he's probably wanted to do this team to move on in the next round. But they were saying they want to win. They want to just go put it and be dead and in the books for the, for the last one to be in, in the Eastern Conference game, just like the Celtics in the Heat game. But it looks like every other team don't want to leave it off from Game 7. They want to just stay it out. Now knows it will have it over. To find the pass to Forbert. Fires away. Jarvis with the puck stop. He will fling it around right over around the net. Forbert having it over to the corner to Hathaway. Slings off to Clifton. Clifton right around the uh, off, off, on the uh, defenders. Clifton up by Anderson. 3.44 to go. 
There's still no score in the game. They want to get it. Still a lot of time period to play. Only just 3.44 seconds to go before the second period is finished. Goddesphere will have it out. Behind the net. Now on its way. Down over to Jarvis. 3.25 left to go. Trying to keep it over. Svetlakov's shot. Oh my goodness. That was a beauty save. Double time stop for the goaltender. Rear right into the off wing on the outside. Shot from here. Rebound again. Third time. Don't stop. He never really get a goal. They are trying to keep him out of here. That's because of Anderson. Try to keep your, keep your leg out. That's a great help. Clinton battling along for the, for the cross of the board and now forward. Over to Bergeron. To the middle, it's halfway. Puck taken over by Slavin. Now Shatsy will have it across. Marchand flings it out. Hit off the wall, now finds Burns with under two minutes. Slavin gives it over to Stepan. Stepan fires around the net. The Bruins will have their possession to take the advantage. Orlov with the puck. No penalty called on, on Carolina. No sand. Oh, got a great save here at that point. Marchand with the puck. Now into the offense zone to pick up the run with one minute left to remain. Marchand lost the puck here and Slavin gives it over to Statsny. Burns over into the corner. Goes with a tumble takedown. Marnuk right into the right wing. Firing off Stepan, shot stopped by Olmark. With 30 seconds remaining in second period, and Olmark's going to opt it from here for another face-off coming up. These two teams are very aggressive. They are very that tough fit team. The offense run, it's a lot harder than they are going for. Now the win for Stepan. That's a great block for the defense of the Bruins. Keeping the puck out, and now they're trying to leave it out. Carlo with the puck. Trying to leave it out. Turn the left wing. Bertuzzi saw it. And stopped made by Anderson. And not going to make the pause beater. But that's the first and second period. Still silent to the puck. There, may, there might be a goal in the third period. We'll get back right after this break. Hey everyone, OJ here. Now before we get into the final period in game three, sorry, game five, we might be saying that there is one way to make a quick announcement, or you all, that we have a new release pick here for, this, for the opponents that's currently up now. We still have the rep list, so leave a comment box here below, and leave a comment down below in the comment box area in the description. Right at the moment, it will be a new season to get started for the NHL 24. You can pick which team that will be facing in between the zones like the USA teams against the USA teams, or Canadian team matchups, or Canadian versus the USA matchup. It doesn't have to be like it's all all in good hand, just like the playoffs, like this game happens. But in all that case, if you're in the mood, you got to give a comment right down here. The story will be coming up in just a bit here on the social media. Don't worry, I'm very sorry with the, with the convenience, but hopefully in that occasion, you'll get back into this. And finally, we have the new deals that was been pushed back. After the postseason's over, we will get right into the new episode of the deals. And a new episode of the Anime Insanity Invitational will be the last one to be here before summer break. And that is right, this show is currently underway June 25th at Sabian Media Center and July 8th at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. Are you excited to be here? If so, if you get your tickets, then you're then you're all set to go. It's going to be very exciting to meet your cast creators, and also one of the best moments of the premiere of the screen, showing you the BFDI TPOT of the of these episodes and season three of the Animated Sanity of the experience. It's going to be a lot that fun out there. So whenever you're ready, get in there. It's time to show that you should be enjoying it and loving your passion. That's for BFDI, for the, all the fans, and same thing with the double I of an anime insane. Now, on down to the third period. 
This will be a tough one. Looking for our next goal? Well, let's find out. Carolina or Boston? There's going to be a two choice to go from here. And now, let's get back into the game. Beast, all yours. Close it here. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals, and now we're about to rally it up in the third period. And here we go. This is where we come down to the third, game, third period of Game 5. No goals for the two players in between. Now let's stand by with Mifo in the center ice of OJ. Let's have the recap here for Mifo. Well, they're very tough now. I'm definitely telling you, they are just keeping it out. The best goaltenders are going to turn to be a lot of higher educationing. They really do not have anybody else around here because they were all important. They just never really made it that far. They wanted to do this, and they wanted to get it done. All they can't just say is that, oh man, we, we are in trouble now, and everybody was thinking that we should not be in trouble. Not give up, never quit here. They really wanted to like step it up again. Because at this point, if we don't go home for Carolina, I think we need a revenge back. If not, then Boston Bruins are going to head their way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Zacha right toward the left wing in a slot. Burns have the puck taken over. Burns off to Ago shot. Fired away and it's stopped by a ball mower. Kick the pad out of here. Sebastian Ago gets rumbled down. Zaja on its way down. Trying to relieve it from the mark and now Coyle right over again. Slavin has the puck now in with the offensive run takeover. To keep it from the center. Didn't get a glove save that time, but it's a great stop for Omar. Zacha trying to enter in. Slavin trying to lock down on the fence. Zacha getting in! Rebound is stopped! Taravainen gives it over to Kalkedemi. Hurricanes now on their way to the offense zone, and Pasternak's trying to keep him out. No penalty regain here on Carolina. Slavin right toward the offense side, and now finds Nags. Nails right into the in the left wing slot. It's stopped again by the goaltender. Kick the puck out of here from the board. Greer has it over. Nozick right past the blue line. For the middle slot. It's up again by no by another great save of the goaltender. Now Pesh, we will have it over into the offense zone, trying to leave it out. Nobody wants that. I really have to tell you, no way he does. McAvoy keeps it over to Halfaway. Halfaway fires around the net. And Pest will have it here. Good takedown, but now Stahl has one. Stahl trying to like leave it over with the open side, and now Carlo over around. Leaving the puck out of here, and Stahl to fast. Short, stopped by Omar. Halfaway right toward the left slide. He fires around the net. The Hurricanes still have the possession now, and Skeji gets the stall. Moves it to Pesk. Pesk trying to give it off to Martinuk. Martinuk trying to like go from free, finding a range open. And that carries out of here. Great play inbounding for the defender. Pesk battling for the loose puck. Here's Stahl. Stall right into the left right wing. For New York, Marchand over now to Bergeron. They just really like try to like keep that one going. They never really wanted to get that far. Nobody wants that. Marchand back in, big big scores. But they're not going to count it because it does happen to be on the crossbar. Let's watch it one more time. Oh yeah, that is not a goal. He didn't make it in that time because that was a close one. The range was not that tough. I'm going to have to take a look at this. They're signaling it. It is a goal. Well, the challenge was played thanks to the head coach. It looks like it ain't having it. So they did not get near to crease it, and it went in. That was a tough one. Well, now you know. They're going to get that goal right away. Yeah, I got a replay from here. It was across from the other side of the angle because this was very tough. 
Now you know that because of this one, the brush, he got a great deflector in the pump right around the goaltender. When he signaled the no goal, it was going to say that he, they were going to challenge it. But now they call it successfully. It was, it was been ruled out here and it's been overturned. That's because it was being turned over and it's not a no goal. Carolina was thinking it was a no goal. They challenged it. Because of that point, they're really up to a pathetic. I'll be watching here if there's another tip in to get it right around it. Back to you all. What a great hustle and bounding for the team. And they were say that they want to get into the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, it's sure enough for me. Let's keep practicing. Let's keep on going. McAvoy bumped up on the wall. Now Frederick will have the puck here now in the offense zone. 11.30 to go, and Svechikov will have it back. Now it finds Ajo to Jarvis. Jarvis right toward the, the right side. Shot fired, staved off again by the goaltender. Berturzi went slamming down, and now Berturzi give off to McAvoy. McAvoy right into the offense swing. On his way down. McAvoy to Frederick shot, gloved it away by Anderson. He's keeping it right at mounding. I never saw what Frederick Anderson did because he was really that tough. Because that last play, they were really seemingly that they got bumbled out. And the Bruins already got one, just a couple of the gates. It looks like they might be going in for the next win. Svechikov right into the center slot. To the right wing, fired across. Good stop by the defensive players to keep the puck from the shot angle. Ajo off to Jarvis. He now he gives off to Slavin. Slavin keeping it out of here. McAvoy recovering the puck now over to Nozick. Nozick right into the offensive zone and now finds McAvoy passing it through the neutral zone to the blue line. Greer got bumbled down by the double man defensive players. That shot went too high and it's right to Nozick. McAvoy to Greer. Fires across. Rebound score! There are no questions out here because Greer was able to do what he was going to do. Because when he had Frederick, he got it right into him. A rebounding save. Greer didn't make the goal, but Frederick did. The back-to-back -back rebound was put in right away. This is a tough angle that everyone was keeping an eye on. What a great hustle. Back to you all. Anderson hold the puck here with the save with only 8.35 to go. The Bruins are making their way to the conference finals and will be entering the Stanley Cup Finals. The shutdown goes on to Jacob Slavin. He has that range here to try to keep from the angle set, set high from angle point A to B. Point blank range is a tough one to be right in the slot. When Slavin takes it, he can try to like close it out with the player. Off the goalposts, and Olmark will try to leave it up with the save. They're very offensively, they're very not tough. I can't wait what the Bruins are heading up to now in the Stanley Cup Finals. Now they're ready to take another face off in the offense zone. The score is a 2-0 run. Boston back in control. Forward right around it. Finds Coyle. Coyle lost the puck. Terrible and the shot and will work with the save. 7.51 to go in the third period, trying to like leave it open. They're really getting a lot of strength and ability. They never really wanted to get it on at that point. As we're all being said, I never really spot anybody that could do it for well. Face off win for Kakanami. Slavin, wow, he was bashed down and he stuck for the for the jail of the of the defense zone. Puck in the range right over again to Pasternak. He's running alone, keeping Pasternak's in trouble, and now it's Nehelis with, with the rebounding and now it back the airway. We just down to seven minutes to go in the third. Clinton got it away. Coyle reach up to Pasternak. Over to Zacha. Zacha right out of his way with the offense motion to try to handle it on the pressure. Clifton right around it. Pass to Coyle. Coyle reaching it over now finds Pasternak. Pasternak slides, Coyle shot, and Anderson with the save. 
crosses from here and now and recovers it. Just for fast over the stall. Now the Hurricanes are back in the offense zone to pick up their steam. Posternox with the recovery. Rolling for the inside. Looks it. Red tumble down and the save made comes up again. Oh, he's like a little bumbled up. Never want to get over this. And you never want to like get rid of him. Here's Martin a shot. Omar still wild save. They keep the claws from here from coming. But they say they are knocking it over. Now with the next face off coming in, it's the two to zero for Boston. Now for the win, here's Lindholm. In towards slot, now finds the Brust. The Brust swings back to Marchand. Marchand over to Bergeron. Offense on its way down. Bergeron shot. That off the pad here by Anderson. Pass battling for the loose puck. Marchand in the Oh, he did not have the right moment. That keep them out of here. Fast now finds Stahl. Stahl looks the fast. Fast on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity run. To put it mounting, Fast gonna have to go get it. Put around the man. The rebound is stopped by Olmark. Battling for the loose puck. Martin up over to Oppo. Canes are being back in the lane. Free for you to go in the third period trying to leave it out. They want this badly. Nice D. The breast gun schedule with the puck foul break. Foul for the loose puck. Linholm Ajo takes it over. Good play by Bergeron as he want to handle it off. Skedgy to Jarvis. Now he gives off to Svechikov right over to the left wing. Looks around the net. Ajo lost the puck and now the breast has it. They're keeping it out of here. They want to like get a poke checked away. They're very sure they're just getting it tough. My goodness. They really just can't let Hella down because they really do not want to get offended. They really keep out there for nothing. Snatchikov finds Ajo with the shot and he denies the shot. What a play hustle for Carl, for Mark, Olmark. And there is a penalty call. They got interference. Greer is back in the penalty box and this could be a chance to go catch down by one for the Carolina Hurricanes. Looks like we do have a winner. What's your take, OJ? Pasternak has very got a good eye. I have an eye on him. He's doing really well to keep the pressure in here and then give it off the rebound here or go right down to the other side of it. I know this angle's tough, but don't be afraid. They can save the day. Statsy finds Burns. Burns shot in the nine terrible start. Jarvis shot! Oh man, that old Mark made a great move and he pulled a puck to stop the run. A lot of time left to play in this period. It's a 2 0 lead for Boston. A minute and 37 as the power play continues. Orlov will have to settle it down. Oh no! Oh, Clifton got it. Leaves it out for the net. About one minute left to remain in the third period. Smetrikov has to find a way to make a move. Shot! Stop the game by Omar. The man advantage is on. The power play still continues. And Omar will have one here. Keeps it out of zone. Turline and regroups it over to Smetrikov. To the right side of the slot. Looks to step on. Rebounded, stopped by Elmar. Knows it up, Svechikov. Unbelievable, he is making a move here. They all are going to make a chant here because Elmar got to light up and fire it up. That's why he has this one in X-ray vision. The win for Carolina. Now Nekes fires it. Then fuck it off the player. And he will set it out. Looks like the Bruins are having a wild night in game five. Yeah, exactly. You can't just let anybody get over this because they really can and they never really want to keep it out of here. Puck leaves the zone. Last possession for the Burns. 
and they don't have it all. And that is it. The Bruins are going to the finals for the first time in the history of the franchise run on EA Sports. Well, it's been a one heck of a run. And Olmark's team, we are saying, we are ready. This is what we do. We're going to get it done. We all salute to the fans. It has been a fantastic night. What a make it. And that will do here. With me, Phone 4, OJ, I'm Son of Beast, and thanks for tuning in for Game 5 of the Bruins and Canes of the Eastern Conference Finals. So long, everyone. Alright, guys, thank you very much, and now time for three star players of the game. The third star, as we're about to be seeing, is Jake the Cross, having to punch it in, keep it from the crossbar, but at any call of attempt, it is a goal. The second star goes out to Frederick Anderson with 50 saves for a 962 percentage. Really well done, Brian, for two periods. And for the first star, Ryza leads his all mark with 48 saves. He is perfect. Here's how he did with the total statistic, Brian. 52 to 48 is your total shots on goal for Boston. 23 over 15 for Boston. 547 was Carolina and 553 for Boston. 95 percentage over 92 for Boston, then 25 faceoff wins over 17. The penalty kill was 11 minutes for Boston and 9 for Carolina. No power play goals and the power play minute was 544 and 336. Well, I guess that's the end of, the end of this game. So the Boston Bruins are going to have to wait and find out which the opponent will move on to take on against the Bruins of the Atlantic Division team in the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, you'll have to stay around here because at this point, we're going to try to say we're not going to leave it alone. We'll be back later. Haha, -ha, yes, because I'm making new changes up here. Hmm, do you like that idea? I guess so. Anyway, thanks for all for tuning us in, and I'll be seeing you all later here for the next part of the game of the Avs and Kraken. Thanks for watching. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. I'll see you all later. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.